us worship our King and God. Come, let us worship Christ our King and God. Come, let us worship and bow before the only Lord Jesus Christ, the King and our God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Lord my God, how great you are. You stretch out the heavens like a tent. Above the range you build your dwelling. You make your angels spirits and your ministers a flaming fire. You wrapped it with the ocean like a cloak. The water stood higher than the mountains. They rose over the mountains and flowed down to the place which you had appointed. You make springs gush forth in the valleys, they flow in between the hills. On their banks dwell the birds of heaven, from the branches they sing their song. You make the grass grow for the cattle and the plants to serve man's needs. Oil to make his face shine and bread to strengthen man's heart. There the bills built their nest on the treetop the store cast for home. You made the moon to mark the months. The sun knows the time for its setting. The young lions roar for their prey and ask their food from God. Man goes out to his work to labor till evening falls. sea vast and wide, with its moving swarms past counting, living things great and small. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. You hide your face, they are dismayed. You take back your spirit, they die, returning to the dust from which they came. May the glory of the Lord last forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. I will sing to the Lord all my life. Make music to my God while I live. Let sinners vanish from the earth and the wicked exist no more. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. How many are your works, O oh Lord? In wisdom you have made them all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace from high and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For this holy church and for all who enter with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For 
For our Holy Father, Francis Papa Roma, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most reverend Metropolitan, William Fragad, loving Bishop Milan, for the Venerable Presbyter, the Diacon in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city, community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick that suffer in the captivity, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, rest, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorate your most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady, that thou took us and the Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. True. Morning and at noon, we praise you, we bless you, we thank you, and we pray to you, Master of all and loving Lord. Let our prayer rise like incense before you, and do not let our hearts be turned to evil words of thought, but deliver us from all that might ensnare our souls. For to you, Lord our Lord, our eyes are turned, and in you we hope. Let us not be put to shame, O our God. For to you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, your glory, honor, worship, now and ever and forever. Amen. Those who put their trust in the Lord are more like Mount Zion. They cannot be shaken, it stands forever. For the scepter of the wicked shall not rest over the land of the just. Do good, Lord, to those who are good, to the upright of heart. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage as streams in dry land. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. Build the house, in vain do its builders labor. In vain is your earlier rising, your going later to rest. Truly sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing the fruit of the womb. Oh, the happiness of the man who has filled his quiver with these arrows. Oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Your wife like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see your children.
children's children on Israel peace. They have pressed me hard from my youth, but could never destroy me. But the Lord who is just has destroyed the yoke of the wicked. Let them be like grass on the roof that withers before it flowers. And those passing by will not say, On you the Lord's blessing, we bless you in the name of the Lord. Lord to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Shows you to be God, excellent. 
Peace be to all of wisdom of the eternity. Genesis. Let us be attentive. <coughs> At that time, the man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and all the wild animals, but none proved to be suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, God took out one of the man's ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When God brought forth her to the man, the man said, This one at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman. For out of her man, this one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one body. The man and his wife were both naked, yet they felt no shame. Now the serpent was the most cunning of all the animals that the Lord God had made. The serpent asked the woman, did God really tell you not to eat from any of the trees in the garden? The woman answered the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. It is only about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden that God said, You will not eat it or even touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, you certainly will not die. No, God knows well that the moment you eat of it, 
You will be like gods who know what is good and what is bad. The woman saw that the tree was good for food, pleasing to the eyes and desirable for gaining wisdom. So she took some of its fruit and ate it. She also gave some of it to her husband who was with her and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened and they realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made loincloths for themselves. When they heard the sound of the Lord God moving about in the garden at the breezy time of the day, the man and his wife hid themselves from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. The Lord God then called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then the Lord God asked, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat? The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head, while you strike at his heels. To the woman he said, I will intensify the pangs of your childbearing. In pain shall you bring forth children, yet your urge shall be for your husband, and he shall be your master. To the man God said, Because you listened to your wife and ate from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat, cursed be the ground because of you. In toil shall you eat its yield all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles shall it bring forth to you as you eat of the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face shall you get bread to eat until you return to the ground from which you were taken. For you are dirt, and to dirt you shall return. The man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all living things. Wisdom of the Atante. Be exalted, O Lord, in your strength. We will sing and praise your mighty deeds. We will sing and praise <coughs> strength gives joy to the king, how your saving help makes him glad. Be exalted, O Lord, in your strength. We will sing and praise your mighty deeds. We will sing and praise your mighty deeds. Wisdom of Beatante, the light of Christ shines upon everyone.
book of Proverbs. Let us be attentive. The Lord by wisdom founded the earth, established the heavens by understanding. By his knowledge the depths break open, and the clouds drop down dew. My son, let not these slip out of your sight. Keep advice and counsel in view, so will they be life to your soul and an adornment for your neck. Then you may surely go your way. Your foot will never stumble. When you lie down, you need not be afraid. Honor is the possession of wise men, but fools inherit shame. Be not afraid of sudden terror or the ruin of the wicked when it comes, for the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from the snare. Refuse no one the good on which he has a claim when it is in your power to do it for him. Say not to your neighbor, go and come again tomorrow, I will give. Plot no evil against your neighbor, against him who lives at peace with you. Quarrel not with a man without cause, with one who has done you no harm. Envy not the lawless man and choose none of his ways. To the Lord the perverse man is an abomination, but with the upright is his friendship. Peace be to you, reader. Let my prayer send to you like incense, and the lifting up of my hands like an evening sacrifice.
Yes, all of you. Let me see my own sins and not judge my brothers and sisters. For you are blessed forever and ever. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. All right, very encouraging uh, experience or testimony, whatever we will call it. It was about a man, young man, who came to his spiritual father and he said, you know, I am trying to do many things, but I feel that I'm spiritually dead. There is nothing in my heart. And all those passions are taking me down again, again, again. I feel that I'm not okay spiritually. Please help me. And priest told him that, well, do you trust me? Will you be obedient to me? Will I tell you? And he said, sure. I tried everything, he said. And he says, for sure. So priest gave him a medicine, but not pills, but spiritual practice. He told him to go every day to a church and to say the prayer. The prayer, it means 300 times Jesus' prayer in front of icon of Christ. And he ordered me to do it every day. And after one month, we can talk. And after one month, they met. And this young man said, it is terrifying. It's hard. It's difficult. It's this difficult, as I said, this 300 times. This Jesus prayer in front of icon trying to collect my mind. And priest said, Good. From now on, you will say the prayer two times. It means 600 times Jesus prayer in front of icon in the church. This young man was aware that he said that he's going to be obedient. So he started that. And again, after one month they met, and this young man said, this is torture. He said that, well, it's horrible. I, he said, I don't know if it has some kind of effect on me. I don't feel well. I don't feel good. Even I think that I became worse than I was before. And priest said, yes. Okay, from now on, three prayers in front of Icon. It means 900 times Jesus' prayer. This young man was like, oh, maybe he felt sorry that he asked that priest for help because he didn't tell him anything. No teaching, no encouragement, nothing. He just said, you will pray this prayer in front of Icon of Christ in the church. But he was obedient, and he started to pray 900 times Jesus' prayer every day. And if you try that 900 times, you know that if you do it correctly, it takes over one hour. Over one hour. And priest didn't want to meet him after one month. 
But he asked us after another month, can we meet? We said, no, just continue. He kept him like four months in this discipline. Then they met. And please ask, so how do you feel? Uh, he said, well, something was broken in my heart. I wish you would give me four times the prayer I say in Prabhupada. He wanted and feel that he needs more. Because through this time, his heart was taken by Christ and filled by grace. Did he feel that he is spiritual alive? No. That young man, he still felt that he is even worse than he was before. But everybody around him could see radical change in his life. And this is something that is normal. More we come closer to Christ, more we expose our hearts to Christ, more we see how holy He is and how sinful we are. To feel that I am more and more unworthy, to see more and more our sins, it's a good sign. It means that we are closer to God. But through this exposing, through this dwelling presence of Christ, through these multitude prayers, Lord have mercy, this young man slowly broke the shell which was on his, his heart or his soul, and he let God's grace to in. And he was transformed. Even he didn't think so. Now we can understand why Saint Elphand Recluse tells us that if we neglect prayer, liturgical or personal, it means if we neglect time every day to come closer to God, to open our hearts, to expose our heart and soul to Him through prayer, that if we don't do this, we will be losing grace of baptism. But if we do this, this grace will be working very heart in us. This grave will be transforming our heart, our soul, our mind. The only thing this young man said to priest what was changed. He said, besides that I feel like the biggest sinner, I realized that I lost taste for many things I liked before. He didn't mean food. He meant activities which were filling his life before and he enjoyed them. Once we expose our heart to Christ for a long time, his grace will point our or push our soul up and we will have this bigger and bigger desire for those things which belong to God, for heavenly things and we will be losing days for war or things of this world. This is why it is important to pray. This is why it is important to start and to be obedient to our prayer rule. Yes, for months it will be horrible for us. 
like it was for this young man. It was torture for him because he had to break the shell of his soul. And he had to, at first, break his heart and to learn how to dwell in Christ's presence. So if Bishop Milan asks us to practice this, he asks us to break our hearts. May God can touch us and heal us and elevate us closer to heaven. Let us all say with our soul, with our own mind, let us say. Lord, <coughs> Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, Again, we pray for Holy Father Francis Popo Roman, for Most Reverend Metropolitan William, for God, Lord, and Bishop Milan, for those who serve and have served in this Holy Church, for our spiritual fathers, and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people who are present who have been your great of mercy, for those who show us mercy and follow Christians of the true faith. Lord, For you are merciful, loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever.
temple our evening prayer to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious and please sanctify gives place before us. There are God who loves us all. May receive this holy heavenly mystical treasure of most spiritual fragrance. And send down upon us in return his divine grace. And the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, rest, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Pray us, save us, have mercy on us. And preserve us, O God, by your grace. That this whole evening be perfect, holy, peaceful, without sin. Oh, let us beseech the Lord. This, o Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide and guardian of souls and bodies, oh, let us beseech the Lord. This, o Lord. For the pardon be sure of sins and offenses. Let us beseech the Lord. This, o Lord. For what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us beseech the Lord. This, o Lord. That we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance, let us beseech the Lord. For a Christian, painless, unashamed, peaceful, and of our life, a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, oh, let us beseech the Lord. This, o Lord. Asking for unity in the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To O invisible King, you perform wonders that cannot be fathomed and miracles that cannot be counted. Look upon us, your unworthy servants, as we stand before this holy altar, as before your cherubim throne, where your only begotten Son and our God is present in these awesome mysteries here before us. Deliver us and your faithful from Every impurity sanctify our souls and bodies with a holiness that cannot be taken away, that we may partake of these holy gifts with a pure conscience, without shame and with an enlightened heart. As we are given life by them, may we be united with your Christ himself, our true God, who said, Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. With Christ, your word, living in us and walking among us, O Lord, May we become a temple, your all-holy and adorable spirit, rescued from every trap of the devil, set indeed our word of thought, together with all your saints who have been pleasing to you since time began. May we obtain the promised blessings and make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation. There call you Father, God of heaven and Son. this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and power and the glory father son and holy spirit now endeavor and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. To you, O Lord. Through 
through the grace, the mercy, and loving kindness of the begotten Son with me are blessed together with your all holy good, the life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Oh, let us be attentive. Holy, pre-sanctified gifts to holy people. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ. <coughs> to the glory of God the Father. Amen. O oh Lord, I believe, I believe. And profess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will give you a mystery to your enemies. No one like you, she says to Judas, the life of the thief I profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of the soul, O God. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body, and your life giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive. For the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, please forgive my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Come to receive. I will bless the Lord at all times. Alleluia. Now do I go to
Blesses our God, who enlightens and sanctifies us, always, now and ever, and forever. Now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, love and life, creating all some mysteries of Christ, let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are our sanctification, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Almighty Lord, in wisdom you created everything through your inexpressible providence and great goodness. You have brought us to these solemn days for the purification of soul and body, the control of passions, the hope of resurrection. During the forty days, you gave your servant Moses the place of the law inscribed by your divine hand. In your goodness, grant that we also may fight the good fight, complete the course of the fast, keep the faith without division, crush the heads of invisible serpents, conquer sin, and arrive without reproach to worship your holy resurrection. For blessed and glorified is your most honored, magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now and, ever, now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and The blessing of the Lord be upon you through His grace, loving kindness, always, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ God, our hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Praise our true God, have mercy on us and save us through the praise of His most pure Mother. By the power of the precious life creating cross, through the protection of the honorable and heavenly angelic powers, through the praise of the honorable and glorious prophets for honor and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, illustrious apostles, who are Holy Father and because the patron of this church, of the holy, glorious, and victorious martyrs of our venerable God, bring fathers. O the holy adjust ancestors of God, Joachim and Anne, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good, and Christ is good and loves us all. Amen.